lap to racing. Betsy Wellborn on the point, trying to get her first win. Now I'm going to be surprised. I'm not going to be surprised if she wins tonight. I kind of might be surprised if she doesn't. She has been running that well. Green flag in the air to her outside, though. It is the 2021 champion, but not in a normal in normal car. Larry McKenzie driving Chris right Long's right car. Tucked in. Oh. Use that high side to get out on the point. All the cars get through turns one and two for lap number one. Larry McKenzie up the hill. Here comes Missy Wellborn back on the inside at the line. It is Larry McKenzie as our leader. Missy Wellborn second. She gets out in front, going into turn number one, putting Misty up from in the P1 on lap number two. Here comes that 51 of Langendurfer. 51 J out of Corning. He's up to the third spot. Langendurfer. Here comes Bad Brad, or excuse me, Hollywood Coelho. He's up to fourth, and Moss falls back to the fifth spot. Uh, Fireball Taylor back in the sixth spot, but Misty Wellborn checking out right now. She's got about a 1.247 second lead as Battle for Second is up, though. Here comes Larry McKenzie. He's on the high side. He's out to try to hold off that 51J of Jeremy Langendurfer. Langendurfer, I believe his first time here at Antioch Speedway. I've not remember seeing him here before, but has definitely not been here this year. But he is running well in that 51J. All night long, he is trying to put pressure on the 99, but now he's getting pressure from behind by Brad Coelho. As Coelho works around him and takes that third spot. And now Larry McKenzie Jr. right out of rear bumper of Misty Wellborn. Misty gets into turn number one. She gets a little bit squirrely. That opens up the outside door. Here comes the move for the lead on the outside. Going down the back straight away to turn number three. Larry McKenzie, he gets squirrely on the exit of turn number four. In fact, he may have broke something. One car sits backwards. Judy Arth, yellow flag is out. If you're one of the folks out on the Black Friday shopping, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you had good luck. Missy Wellborn up off turn number four gets a good jump. Gets out in front. Coelho in the second spot. He's got this 51J down underneath him with Langenderfer. Two turns one and two, but works around him. Coming up off turn number two. Here comes Langenderfer. Dia diving deep into turn number three. Misty crosses the line, puts lot number five into, or excuse me, six in the books. 24 laps to rain. Vina has a problem. He goes into turn number one and pushes up way up the hill. Loses the spot to Mons. Battle for the lead coming up off turn number four. Wellborn has it. She's got about, oh, not quite a full car length over Hollywood Coelho. Langendurfer trying to make a move on the 55 car going down into turn number one, and it cost him a couple car lengths. Dove in a little bit too deep by the looks of it. They're a battle for the lead down the front straightaway into turn number one. Missy Wellborn working the line, I think, that Brad wants. He tries to dive in the corner a little bit, come off a little lower than she does with nothing doing. Now he goes into turn number three. Inside, Misty Wellborn is Quelo. That high side pays off for Misty. Misty, during the day, drives a big brown truck. UPS driver Danny Abe spins to the inside off turn number two. See if he can get that thing going again. Starting to roll. Battle for the lead up off turn number four. If the line is still Misty, here comes Brad Coelho down on the inside. Side by side in turn number one. The high side paying off for Wellborn. But Brad does not give up. Comes up off turn number two. Side by side into turn number three. Natalie Perry may have lost the motor. We're onto the green flag. Misty Wellborn is our leader. Green flag in the air. She gets a good run once again. Down to turn number one. Quelo sets it sideways. He's got Bobby Monson he's got trying to hold off right now. All the cars get through turns one and two. Misty Wellborn out on the point. Brad Coelho second. Bobby Mott's third. Langendurfer falls back to the four spot. Here comes Coelho down on the low side of Mott's. They touch, or excuse me, on the inside of Wellborn. They touch. Put the 55, Brad Coelho out on the point. Misty Wellborn back to second. She's strong, trying to hold off the 13 of Bobby Mott's. That battle for second down the front straight away to turn number one. 
Langender for into four spot. He's starting to get a little bit of pressure as one car is going really slow. That is the Robles car down the front straightaway. Yellow flag is out. Bobby Botts, Jeremy Langender for row two. Green flag in the air. Coelho not on the point. Battle for second. Coming up off turn number two. Misty Wellborn on the high side. Bobby Mott's out on the low side. Langender for right there. Waiting for either of them to make a mistake. Misty gets her car out in front of the 13. He battles back on the inside, but he's got to a 51J on the outside. As that battle now is for third, down to the back straightaway into turn number three. Anthony Vigna, he's right there. He's saying, I want a part of this. He gets to the inside of the 51J, who will mouth bounce off the wall, coming up off turn number four that time. So right now, Hollywood Coelho on the point. Missy Wellborn in the second spot. Third is going to be Bobby Botts. Fourth is Vigna. Langenderfer in the fifth spot. Sixth to be Grayson. Seventh is Taylor. Eighth is Haney. Ninth is Archibald. Tenth is the 99 of Larry McKenzie. Eleventh, Robbins. Twelfth is Crandall. Thirteenth is Paladino. Uh, Then we have Judy Arth. Paladino looking at his car. He's got a damage on the front end. Not sure what happened there. But damage on the front end of the 23 car as he is having a little trouble seeing, I would imagine, with that sticking up in the air like that. Judy Arth and Danny Aves behind Paladino. Coelho pulling out by about 1.3 seconds right now over Missy Wellborn. She's got a little bit of space back to the 13 of Bobby Motts. Motts has glowing exhaust underneath the hood of that car. Slower traffic up in front of the leader now. Coelho's got Danny Ames, the first one he's going to have to put a lap down. Crossing the line this time will be 20 down. 10 to go in the 30 lap main event. Misty Wellborn in the second spot. Bobby Mott third. Vigna fourth. Fifth is Langenderfer. Bobby Mott looks underneath. Misty as they go down the back straightaway. Vigna down on the inside of Mott. Three wide. Mott almost gets into the back of Misty Wellborn. He has to get on the brakes, get slideways. Vigna has to get out of the gas. He loses the ground. And Vigna spins in turn number one right in front of Langenderfer. Coming to a stop, trying to get that thing going. He does. We stay under the green flag. Quelo on the inside of Paladino. As Paladino, he still can't see real well, I'm sure, with that uh, hood sticking up in the air the way it is. Hollywood clears him. One car bounces off the wall in turn number one, looks like. Looks like the debris on the high side of turn number one. And that's going to bring out a yellow flag. That to bring up there in turn number one. Lights out, coming to the green flag this time by. Quelo gets a good start. Misty doesn't get let him get away quite as the way he did last time. And Box once again tries to get underneath. Down the front straight away to turn number one. Quelo, once he gets out in front, he is hard to catch and beat. I'll tell you what. Is that some good runs here this year? Putting lap number 24 in the book. Six laps remain. This 30 lap main event for the Hobby Stocks. Well born. Trying to catch back up with him, but also at the same time trying to hold off Bobby Motts. Motts in that 13 car. Jeremy Langender for the 51J. Going down here from Corning, California. Jimmy Bobby up along the wall and turns one and two, going very slow. Not sure what happened there. Four to go. It is Coelho, Misty Wellborn, Bobby Botts, Jeremy Langenderfer, Grayson Baca. Coelho picking up the speed a little bit, going through turn number three, coming up off turn number four. 
Yeah, that one's gonna come back. Oh, one car blowing up. That is the 51 of Jeremy Langdon. Bobby Moss. Racing Grayson Baca. Row two, row three. Larry McKenzie and Fireball Taylor coming around. Green flag in the air. That 55 car gets a good run up off turn number four down the front straight away. Remember, you get one chance. Joel Crandall pushing up the hill. One car just followed Dino leaving the racetrack. As Coelho crosses the line, three laps remain. Battle for the four spot is Michaela Taylor down on the low side of Grayson Baca. She clears him. Here comes Larry McKenzie through. Jake Archibald cutting through the track on turn number two. Judy Arth Ooh. having trouble down the back straightaway. Two to go in a 30 lap main event for the Hobbist Dogs. Hopefully Judy Arth can keep that thing rolling so we don't look, get another yellow flag. Coming up off turn number four. Here comes the leader. Cross the line, white flag in the air one more time around. Missy Wilborn down into turn number one. Gets into the rear bumper <laughs> of Quelo. She pushes up the hill. Loses two car lengths after that contact. Down into turn number three. Here he comes, Hollywood Quelo. Double checker flag in the air. Hollywood takes home the win. Wilborn second, Bobby Mont third. Michaela Taylor fourth, Larry McKenzie fifth, sixth, Grayson Baca seventh, John Haney eighth is Anthony Vigna. Get some congratulations. Hey, walking better. All right, let me get this. Uh, so, well, you ran up front for a while. I did. You, you finished second. I did. I, would, I picked you to win. You did? I did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I really thought you were going to win one this year. You got one more night. I do. One more night. Don't drop something on your foot tomorrow. No. Don't. So what happened? Was my foot? Um, I was lifting a transmission and dropped a torque converter on my big toe at 8.30 this morning. Ow. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Antioch could hear me screaming from Castro Valley. All right. So after that, you came out here, you ran well all night long. What happened when you lost the lead? He outdrove me. He outdrove you? Yeah, he outdrove me. But you know what? Every time I come out here, I'm getting better and better, so... My husband gives me an amazing car, and I have an amazing coach, and I have people that help me. Pacific Coast, you know, I have, I'm so, I'm going to say this so bad right now. Uh, but yes, I uh, I want the win. I, I want it. Just tell me. <laughs> Tomorrow night. I hope so. <laughs> All right, well, tomorrow night you come back, you're going to do it all again, and uh, you'll have to take the checkered flag tomorrow night. I want it. Well, I can't. This guy, he's been racing like 30 years or something. So I'm running with him, and I had Moss behind me, so I feel really good about everything I'm doing if I have the two of the best in front and behind me. So it's just a matter of seat time and all of the stars aligned, you know? So, so what's the plan for next year? You, got, you know what you're doing next year? I'm going for the championship. <laughs> and I think you can get it. I think so. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our second place. Misty Wellborn looking to take home the win tomorrow night.